Hey guys, how's it going? Mega Gears here. So I'm gonna go ahead and play around with a free flow format um, when I do some of my videos and just see how that works. And uh, if it seems like people enjoy it, I'll probably stick with that. Um, lately, uh, after I did the Wally West video, uh, I decided to kind of talk about some characters that, I mean, people seem to like them. They seem to be popular enough, but they're not the big superheroes right yet the big two or whatnot so if y'all haven't been reading any of the green lantern books y'all are missing out um ethan van skyver's art we all know uh ethan is a very talented individual um has really detailed art um, how Jordan the green lantern Corps, i'm really disappointed in myself for just being behind there's so many books coming out uh, the recent run, I picked up the first issue of the, the recent arc, but I haven't been keeping up with it. So I'll probably wait until it wraps up in trade and get it and, you know, go ahead and grab that uh, in the hard, hard cover. I've uh, checked out some other stuff from the New 52. Um, I've read quite a bit of Kyle Rayner's run from the mid-early 90s. And Kyle Rayner's one of those guys where he he's kind of like Wally West in a way, but not sarcastic in a kind of jerk way. He's kind of more of the free-spirited, easygoing, chill guy, right? He's 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 the easygoing guy that gets along with everybody, and he's a real cool guy, but he's kind of a man-child. Well, at the start, let's say it, at the start of his run in the early 90s, right? And I think what a lot of people agree upon, because if you know about Green Lantern period, um, if you haven't been reading the comics, you've probably seen the Justice League TV show and know about Jon Stewart. And Jon Stewart's cool. I think a lot of, whether, you know, kind of like Barry Allen, Wally West, and all that type of stuff, who you connect with more depends on when you got into comics. I think that's the thing for a lot of people. Me really getting into Green Lantern, how Jordan's cool, uh, Jon Stewart, I feel, is very kind of... The, the Justice League TV show did a really good job. Um, the, the the run of him in the comics being kind of the leader, squad leader of the Green Lantern Corps, he's very focused, by the numbers, get stuff done, protocol type guy, right? He's He, he is the guy that makes the logical decisions. Um, but Kyle Rayner is just really chill, and I think a lot of it is because, much like Wally West, you've seen him go through difficulties. I mean... The guy leaves, walks out of a bar, and a green uh, a green lantern ring shows before him, and one of the guardians is like, "Hey, you're the new Green Lantern," and just disappears and leaves him with the ring. You're just like, he's like, "What? What? What's going on?" And then you have him with his girlfriend, who's a reporter. Who, I guess they were on the outs. Their relationship was kind of rocky, and they end up getting back together. You know, he's a he's a superhero. He's a struggling artist, and. Things seem to be going okay for him until just things aren't. Like the first, I want to say 30, 40 issues with him is just constant tragedy, which is funny because I kind of get a Peter Parker vibe from him and where the guy just keeps on moving forward despite what happens. And he's known for the, known as being the guy whose girlfriends always die, right? Or it's just horrible circum victim of horrible circumstances, right? His first girlfriend gets killed by major force and gets stuffed in the fridge. Which is like, when I read that, I was like, oh my god, man. That's hardcore. Um, he starts dating Wonder Girl, who's a, when he ends up joining with the Titans. And I think Roy Harper was the leader of the Teen Titans. I think they kicked, they kicked out <laughs> Dick Grayson from the team, or he left. I, I kind of am fuzzy on that era of the Teen Titans. And him and Donna Troy start dating. And she's kind of the structured adult and Kyle Rayner is still trying to grow up and figure his way out in the world and I like that I don't know maybe it's because everybody's kind of you know has gone through that and they spend a lot of time dealing with superhero stuff and that's the thing superhero comics don't always have to be hey bad guy they get in a fight for three issues he stops the bad guy there's a big event the member of the Justice League, you know, call in, you know, all together to fight the bad guy. Let's have a team up with Wally West Flash or whatnot. But even though they do that in his, you know, mid to late 90s run of the comics, 
you get these really cool character moments of him and Donna Troy. She helps him move into his apartment in New York, and they're kind of talking. And, and it's a while before they even get into a relationship. It's just them being friends, or the fact that they all they both have been through some messed up stuff in their life. Through like Donna Troy went through a divorce, and then later on her her ex husband and kid get die in a car accident. It's not some thing where a bad guy comes and kills her family. It's just something out of their control, right? And Jade, him meeting Jade and Obsidian's uh, sister and Ky uh, not Kyle Rayner, but uh, Alan Scott, the original Green Lantern's daughter, and them developing a relationship after you know the things he's gone through. And Saranic Natsu, who um, is Sinestro's daughter, and if you've been reading the current run of How to Join the Green Lantern, of course she brands him. And ends up joining the, you, you know, continues to do her thing with the Sinestro Corps. It's just like, the dude is like a meme for just horrible breakups. But at the same time, he's the guy that still is like the heart of the member of the Green Lantern Corps. Of the main Green Lanterns like John Stewart, Guy Gardner, and Hal Jordan. He is the heart of the team. He's the guy that still tries to keep hope alive despite these things. And I, I, I like that. I like getting... I like... I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I like people that have been through the meat grinder. That have gotten dragged through the mud day in and day out. And still manage to keep a smile on their face. Still keep hope alive. Don't give in to just despair. And Kyle Rayner is that character. And I, it's just cool to see that in a comic. Especially when you read... You know, throughout the years, because if you're me and you're reading a backlog of comics, you can read throughout the years and see their growth, um, see the things they've experienced, and you can just see them grow as a superhero. Not even as a grow into their own and being a superhero, but just grow as a person. You see Kyle Rayner from being an aimless, you know, man child um, and a superhero that just screws up a lot and just doesn't, you know, he's like kind of the butt of the joke of the Justice League. They're like, we need a Green Lantern. And they're like, we're stuck with this guy because Hal Jordan went insane and got possessed by the Parallax entity and is like a OP, will-powered evil villain, you know, to being a respected member of the Green, of, of the Justice League, becoming a respected member of the Titans of the Green Lantern Corps. Uh, he trains, helps train the new Green Lanterns in the Green Lanterns comics with Simon Baz and Jessica Cruz. And it, it's just nice to see development and just to see a character much like Wally West who's a legacy hero. And that's the thing, he's a legacy hero but eventually he's able to stand on his own two feet to become his own person. And I like, I like that, I really do. So guys, let me know what you think about this. Um, if you have any thoughts, hey, let me know in the discussions, um, in the comments. Uh, I always like looking at those and commenting and talking to people, even if they disagree and like, ah, oh, Kyle Rayner's trash. I'm Hal Jordan all the way, man, or John Stewart or the few Guy Gardner fans that are diehard. And I like Guy Gardner. He's cool. Uh, I think the recent run of Hal Jordan, the Green Lantern Corps, has done a good job of making him very relatable. Um, especially with his team up with Arkilla, one of the member of the uh, Yellow Lanterns. But yeah, guys, let me know what you think. Like, comment, share, um, subscribe, and hey, if you like these videos and um, help me out, uh, you know, uh, if if you want to, I don't want to guilt trip anybody. But uh, if you like this stuff, um, go ahead and share it on Twitter, or, you know, retweet it or whatever, and let people know um, about this if if it's something that we all like or you know a friend likes. Um, but yeah, guys, uh, thanks for checking out, and I'll catch you on the next.